Sand is very powerful. Sand is one of the most, or sand is most item or and things that you can use to send back to sender. You can use to liberate yourself. You can use to turn things around in your life. You can use to destroy your enemies. You can use to liberate yourself. You can use to do undo in your life. If only you believe or you understand and know how to use this sand. Believe me, you have power that you can do everything yourself. So I'm going to share more secret on how you can use sound to turn things around for good in your life. So stay tuned and let's go. Good morning to you all. Good afternoon and good evening. I'm greeting you, my family all over the world, depending on wherever you are. And exactly when you see this video, you are highly welcome to my channel, to our channel. If today is your first time, or you're just seeing me for the first time, my name is Promise, and you're highly welcome to my channel. Welcome to our channel. Believe me, I love you. So please subscribe to my channel if you have not done that. Subscribe so you always get notified whenever I upload a new video when you click that red button and select all. Believe me, you're not re going to regret being part of this family because in this channel, we'll talk about how to use natural things spiritually to do things well in your life. For my return subscribers, thank you very much for coming back. I love you. I know you know that. And I do pray for you that all your expectation must surely come to pass. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for making this place a better place to be. Believe me, my love for you is amazing. And I thank you for the love, for the care, and for the gift. I believe me, your pockets will never run dry. Okay. Today's video, I want to talk on the power of sand. Power of sand. You have power to destroy things using sand. All right. Sand is very, very powerful. Spiritually, it's powerful. Physically, it's powerful. Okay. Now, if things is not working in your life, you have power to use this sand to change and to undo things done against your life. You have power to use sand to destroy spare or causes that is following you. So just follow me. I'm going to tell you one after the other how you use the sand whenever you are passing through a, any certain challenges in life or whenever you are going through anything in life. Number one, if you notice that things is not working in your life, that you try up, you try down, things is not working, my dear, go and take sand. Just pray with sand. <laughs> this sand, pray with sand. Okay? The problem we are having most of the times is that we don't know how to use all these things. And we mostly call everything diabolic, everything evil, everything is fetish. No. Okay? And let me be honest with you. Whenever you're using any of this recipe, don't put your trust on that particular item you are using. Okay? Don't put your trust, don't put your energy, don't put your everything in that particular thing you are using. Put your trust in God. Because it's God that created all these things. Whether you are a Christian or whether you are a Muslim, whether you are from any religions, okay? All you need in life, like I do sound it like a song to you, is to keep your hands clean. Don't think evil against somebody. Rejoice when your brother are rejoicing and weep whenever they are weeping. Don't be an enemy of progress, whether you're a Christian, whether you are anywhere. All right? So that when you are using all these things to pray, you get an answer. Okay? Like, if you understand your element in life, maybe I'm going to talk on that, the four elements of earth, and you will know where you belong to. Everyone had come between these four elements. That is not where that I'm going into. Okay? Now, when somebody is against you, you pack sand, you pray that this sand is like the element of earth that are no man under this life that, did, that is not stepping or does not step on the sand. Therefore, anybody that said 
that your life will not be meaningful. That you will not, particular thing, I don't know, you want to pray, that today, as you're scattering this sand, as the person step on this ground, which is this sand, which is earth, my dear, sprinkle that sand. If you want to make it more powerful, make this prayer exactly by 12 a.m. All right? It's very, very powerful prayer. But whenever you are making this prayer, you need to watch yourself. You need to examine yourself. You need to know yourself that there is no crocodile in your cupboard. You understand what I mean? Because you maybe if you if maybe your your neighbor that I want to travel abroad and you went and destroyed that and when it happens to your turn you start picking the sand to pray, my dear, life these are the natural things, all right? You can only deceive human, you can't deceive the spirit. So you need to know yourself. You need to make sure and examine yourself before you do all these things. Now, let's assume you are suffering from cause. You know, there is difference of cause. There is generation cause. These are the cause that you inherited from your generation. Maybe these are the things your forefather did. Maybe your grandfather. When your father came, he inherited it. When you came, you inherited which your children is about to. <laughs> I'm sorry if I, if, I, if I offend anybody, but that is the simple truth. Which your children you is about to if you are not careful if you are not stand to destroy that particular uh causes believe me is not by claiming whatever okay now if you are suffering from this generation causes how do you know that you are suffering from generation causes now let's assume in a family like there is so many girls in a family nobody is getting married okay now you look at maybe your brother or your your sister or your nephew or whatever from that family everyone nobody is getting married or when they get to certain age there are some maybe there's some family like that i knew that if you're a lady if you did not born in your father's house you will not get married yes there is i know you must and somebody must born before a lady got married from that family, that person, they must tell you that, oh, you see that boy, now this girl born and before she got married. These are the called generation causes. And I was able to ask, and I was told that this started from their grand great mother or whatever. So these are the generation causes. Also, you see some family, when somebody gets up to 59, 49 years, the person dies. You see some family that when uh, there is no male child in that family, once somebody gave birth to male child, the child dies. So these ones are called generation causes. Okay, these are the causes you inherited from your generation. Okay, so this kind of causes, to be honest with you, if you want to break yourself out from these causes, you need to call all the families. Okay, you need to call all the families to come and put heads together. Ask questions. Know the reason for that and break it. There is how you can do it in order to maybe separate yourself. Okay, okay. But this process really is, you need to be patient. If you want to go through this process, maybe you decided to liberate yourself. It's possible, believe me, it is. But you need to be patient. You need to be persistent. You need to be serious. And finally, you will get over it. Okay? Now, there is another cause. This is, are the causes that somebody led to somebody. Maybe... You did something to somebody and somebody laid that cause on you. Or maybe you did not do something for to somebody. You know, some envious people, some wicked people, they will just see this person, oh, look at this person, his progress, and went and do something for that person not to go. These, are, these ones are personal causes. These are the cause led by men. This kind of causes, all right, go and get the sand. When it's midnight, around 12, go outside, pack sand. When you pack this sand, okay, every day you'll be doing this. When you pack it around 12, now, every 12 o'clock, get a bucket of water outside. 
If you cannot bet outside, maybe you bet inside. Put sand inside. First of all, pray with that sand. That everyone step on this sand. That as this earth is, everyone live in this earth. Whether in America, whether anywhere the person is, must step on this sand. Therefore, wherever anybody that led calls on you are staying, that as you step on this sand and as you're using this sand to bet, that you are removing those causes in your life. Use that sand, put it inside a bucket of water, get yourself a local sponge, okay? And get yourself a local uh, black soap. Use it to bed for seven days, 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock for seven days. When you want to bed, after bedding, don't clean your body. Allow that water to dry in your body. After that seven days, no matter how that person led that cause, no matter the winches or with the, whatever, whatever the person belongs to, it will destroy. The person's power is not greater than the sand. Okay. Now, for the generation cause, I did a video on how you can break it with the sand. If you want to do that particular one, all right, I mean the generation one, you need sand. You need ashes. You need bitter leaf. Okay? You need sand. You need ashes. You need bitter leaf. You need sugar to do this. Okay? I did a video on that, but maybe I should just briefly explain it here. Okay? And black soap. And palm oil. That palm oil, spiritually, it represents blood. That is why I told you that these generation causes are causes that have been inherited from generation to generation. As far as you are born into that family, if you like, be whatever you are, you must inherit that cause. Unless you rebreak yourself, unless that cause is broken. Aside that, you are into that cause. So this particular one, you need red oil, which is palm oil. You need black soap, you need sand, you need ashes, you need a uh, bitter leaf, all right, to do this particular one. So if you want to uh, watch that video, you can as well shake the video. Don't come and ask me this question, please. Just check that video and watch. But if you want to know, you just mix them together, use it exactly but when you watch that video, you are going to understand it very much. My spirit is telling me to say it, say it. Okay, now this is how to prepare it. Get that uh, black pepper, okay? Um, not black pepper, sorry, black soap. Get the sand. Get the, oh, the bitter leaf. In this particular one, you need mortar. You don't need blender. You need mortar to do this particular one, okay? You need mortar to pound all these things. You know, those wounded wound mortar. You need it to pound this particular wound. After pounding it, mix it with that soap and all of that, with the sugar and everything. Now, when it's 12 o'clock in the night, you use palm oil. If you're a lady, you need to, if you fix, if you wear artificial, you need to off everything. You need to rub that palm oil from your hair to your toe. Okay? This is, like I said, the oil is representing the blood generation. Now rub it. As you're rubbing it, you'll be praying that God should, as you're rubbing this thing, that this is, you, are, you want to wash away this causes that is following you. You need to be patient. After doing that, then you use that mixture. Use native sponge and bet, bet those things. After betting as well, okay, when you are done doing it, you are going to mix everything together okay then after doing the particular mixture the next you are going to do it for 14 days after that now another 14 days you get sugar and be using it to bed that's why i said you need patience really if you watch this video you will understand this recipe very well okay now if you want to send an arrow maybe there is an arrow sent into your life and you want to remove it or send it back to sender all right when it's 12 as well, get a native, not a native, sorry, black soap. Mix it together with sand only. Use it and bed for seven days. That thing will go. 
There is so many ways to use sand. Okay, the, let me tell you this one. I told somebody this thing and there was a great testimony. Now, let's assume you left your father's house, you traveled. Maybe you live east, you come to Lagos, or you travel abroad or thereabouts and things is not working. You do, know, do you know that you can use the sound of that country you are, or the state you are, or the place you are to favor yourself? Go and pack that sand <laughs> and pray. That sand represents that place you are. If you're in America, that sand represents America. If you're in Lagos, it represents Lagos. See you, Lagos. I left my father's house all the way from east and came to this town for greener passion. I must get it. <laughs> If you are praying, you need to pray with, you need to speak with that vibration. You need to speak with that assurance as if it's happening already. Don't say, oh, maybe you are praying and you're just doing as if you are scared. <laughs> Why are you scared? I came to this place for a greener passion. I must get it. I left my father's house. I came to this place to make an ends meet, to feed me and my family. I must make it. Any man or woman. From my side, from this place that said that everything I'm doing will end up in story. As I scatter this sand, so shall the life of that person scatter. <laughs> With seriousness, so make sure your hands are clean. You are not the one that do like this. Okay? You pray. This place I came. As this sand is uncountable, so that my blessing in this country will be uncountable. I came here empty-handed. I must go with so many blessings. Okay? After doing that, sprinkle it. Go away. Do it three days. And see what happened. Okay? So there are so many ways you can use sand to rebuild yourself. If we should be talking about it, my dear, we are not going to close this video today. We will keep talking about it. But all I'm just giving you a clue is that sand is very, very powerful. Sand is very, very powerful. So when you use it, use it with authority. When you understand the benefit you have over it. You're a lady, you have no marriage. Okay? You have no marriage. Go to your father's house. Pick a sand from that father, your father's house and pray. See, this sand, I was born in this place. And I'm not supposed to be here more than 30 years. My mother was brought from another family to this place and she gave back to me. And I'm, I, people are expecting me all. And I'm, I'm me, myself, I have supposed to be in somebody's house. Okay? And have my own child. There is whatever that is keeping me in this place, my father's house today, I break it. <laughs> this one, you need your father's house for the ladies. The, not that that place you are you just go there and pack that sand the authority the symbol of the authority from today i scatter it wherever my husband is from now to so 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 time if it's one year if it's two years if it's one month i don't know i don't want to stay here again as a lady i supposed to go to another family i supposed to answer somebody's house all right you just sprinkle that sound there go your way <laughs> And see what is going to happen. It happens, especially when you attach faith. Especially when you, when you are praying, just be praying as if it's happening already. All right? Don't have that fear. Oh, let me just pray because I watched the DP. She said I should pray. No, pray because you want that thing to happen, and God will honor it. Okay, so these are the ways you use sand. There's so many ways you can use it. I'm just giving you an example. But all I am telling you, there's some situation you'll be fine, you'll be facing in life. My dear, go and pack sand and pray. If it's a situation you notice that this thing is really happening from my father's house, go back to your father's house, pack the sand of your father's house and make this prayer. If it's where you are living, pack that sand and make that prayer. And believe me, that particular thing will be over. Alright, so please let me end this video here because it seems I'm talking too much. So thank you very much for watching. If you want us to talk more on how to use sand, like you know, I have other videos about the sand. Alright, the problem we are having is that most people don't just watch the video. They will still come and ask me, so go to the uh, uh, bureau of the channel, okay? 
click on that three dots it will bring all the videos click on it take your time watch them you will understand how to use all these things and don't forget to put your trust in god thank you very much for watching i love you and stay blessed i wanted to give the video a thumbs up subscribe and share bye